so today we will look how to wash a crepe bandage so uh, first of all uh, I have weared a crepe bandage for last two three days um, for due to an ankle sprain so uh, this is for the treatment of that ankle sprain but I'm um, uh, daily walking a lot like two three kilometers per day so uh, and I'm not wearing shoes over this I'm uh, wearing general flip-flops that is the sleepers uh, so as you can observe this has become quite dirty black and it can cause an itchy feeling in your legs so if you have a pair of bandages then you can just wash this one and wear another one for the time being so first of all what you need to do is I have removed these three clips uh, which are used to tie the end of this bandage the next step is to uh, soak this crepe bandage in a mild detergent you don't want to use a very concentrated one but you want to use a mild detergent and this scrap bandage as you can observe is a bit stretchy the fabric is a bit stretchy so you don't want it to lose that property so uh, you don't want to rub it very harshly while uh, washing it so let's see how we can wash this crab bandage so first I will unwrap this crab bandage so I have taken this uh, bucket full of water and along with this I have taken uh, this kind of mild detergent uh, you can take any detergent you find suitable this is Patanjali detergent uh, with rose fragrance and it is supposed to be antibacterial so we dissolve some of the detergent in this bucket so I'm dissolving this in the bucket dissolve it well so that it becomes finely powdered and the next step is now the water is appearing soapy so I guess so the main constraint here is we can't rub our bandage too much so the work we do is now Now let's soak this bandage in this. Just move it slightly up and down. You want to wash it very gently. That's all. You soak it for around 2-3 hours. Then you uh, take it out and dry it and shade. Thank you friends. So <clears throat> now it has been around one to two hours and I am just moving this bandage up and down and the water looks a bit foamy so hope it's doing its cleaning work properly and what else the bandage now free of bacteria and it looks pretty clean so we will uh, move to our next step that is hanging this pretty bandage in shades 
but before that uh, we would like to wash the soap out of this so we will rinse it with fresh clean water yeah that much up and down is enough I guess and a bit of shaking here and there so that the <clears throat> bandage gets clean and the important thing is uh, you don't want to rub your uh, bandage too much because then it will destroy its elasticity nor do you want to use a very uh, harsh detergent as you say it it may have more cleaning power but you can't use it and the third important thing is you should not wash this along with other cloths in your washing machine because that might ruin your fabric okay so now my bandage is ready so uh, the point behind reusing this bandages uh, is that these bandages have a lifespan of uh, around 60 months that is five years as per what is written on its uh, package so we want to reuse it again and again so that we need not buy newer bandages so to take the benefit of that we are washing it okay so now uh, we'll be rinsing it with fresh clean water and make sure if there are some black spots like this you rub it gently with your thumb and fingers um, before washing here is our clean fresh water this is my washed bandage with some soap in it now I will dip this bandage in the water so the foams are evident just a little bit up and down with very soft hand you don't want to destroy the fabric, remember. Okay, I think we are good to go. Now we come to the last step that is uh, hanging it in shade. Remember one most important thing uh, the bandage might be little bit uh, blackish from some points if your detergent is really really good and soft uh, it should not be but if it is it is okay because it's a bit of dust and the bacteria etc are gone and now if you wear this bandage this will not feel itchy and neither will it cause any kind of infection uh, how I have hung it outside so one thing needs to be clear that uh, we should uh, s soak it and we should rinse it but we should not twist it because that might destroy your fabric so you just hang it the water will drain automatically as it is draining right now you can observe after some hours this will be ready to tie again enjoy friends